Hey everyone, the name is Eric Thor and as an INFJ, I am a master of giving advice. Yeah, honestly, everyone that listens to me is happier and healthier and more successful. 100% of the people that are subscribed to my channel report being happier and healthier and more balanced after watching my videos. So why, what are you waiting for? Click the button, you know you want to. Now, let's talk. I know, advice sucks. There is nothing worse than when another personality type steps into your life and pretends to know what's best for you. I know, introvert, you've heard a million times already, oh, if you only you would be more outgoing. Why don't you talk more to people? Why don't you get out more? Yeah, I know, intuitive, you've heard it a thousand times. Oh, if only you were more diligent, if only you were more disciplined, if only you knew how to focus more on your studies, you would be so much more successful. No, I'm not going to give you advice like that. Instead, I'm going to give you the advice that you need to hear, the advice that you uh, want to hear in order to be more successful being your own personality type. So you can stay the way you are, but you can change Small things, small nuances, so that you can be yourself even better than what you were before. So what are we waiting for? Let's talk about INTJ. INTJs. I know, you're focused on your goal, you're focused on your career, you're focused on your success. But I think take a minute to think about what it is you need in order to succeed. Surround yourself with what you need in order to succeed. Give yourself the resources that you need to be more successful. Don't just think about what you need to do in order to get to the end result you want to. Think about how to create the environment, the friendship groups, the relationship that you need in order to be healthy and inspired and focused in what you do. So what can you do in order to create an environment around you that is going to make you more successful? What resources do you need in order to make it in the real world? What do you need in order to feel better and happier and healthier while you pursue your passion? Because through this, you can make it even better if your environment is conducive to your health and well-being. You don't need to stay in a cold basement forever. You can make things better for yourself. You can focus on your immediate environment and your immediate situation. And if you can make your immediate situation better, you're going to find it easier to focus on your long-term goals. ENFPs. I know, sometimes it would be so much easier if somebody else would just tell you what to do. I mean, I know, it's hard to know what you want in life. How do you know what you want? How do you know what's right? How do you know where you need to go? Well, let me tell you. What I want to say is, slightly disobey with anything you hear. Slightly disobey the rules. Find ways to slightly resist the control that is around you. I know there's people always try, trying to assume to know best. People always trying to uh, assert themselves over you. People always trying to tell you what you need to do in order to uh, make it in life. But slightly disobey with everything you hear. So whenever people tell you what you need to do to be successful or to get to a certain place, always think about something some small piece that you would like to disobey with, something that you are gonna do differently, something that you will resolve to do your own way. So make your decisions your own decisions. Make your decisions, your choices, your actions, your own actions. No matter what kind of control people are trying to put on you, no matter what people are trying to <laughs> assert over you, um, always give yourself the liberty, the freedom to disagree. ESFJ. As an ESFJ, the thing I would tell you most of all is have a self-care day. Grant yourself a day where you look to your own needs and where you are your, your own patient, where you are your own person needing of care and support and love and give yourself that. So have a day in your week, every week, where you just focus on yourself. Just give yourself the me time you need, give yourself the support you need, give yourself the love you need and ask other people to give you the love you need. Yeah, ask other people to help you out. Ask other people to support and care for you. Ask other people to join you in something you want to do or something you find fun. Yeah, have a self-care day. That's my advice for you as an ESFJ. ENTJ. Okay, ENTJ, I know. 
your goals are important to you, your projects are important to you, you want to make the best out of your life, you want to make the best out of your situation, but here's my tip for you. Create a pet passion project, a passion project that doesn't have to lead to any form of wealth or status or accomplishment in a material sense. Have a project, something you do just to learn, just for fun, just to experiment, just to test your waters, to test your ground. Have a passion project, something challenging, something fun, something interesting that seems to be fruitless or unrewarding for other people, seems to be uh, stupid or simple or uh, uh, unimportant to the world, but that is important to you. Yeah, find something to do that doesn't have to contribute to any kind of material wealth or success or power, something that doesn't have to give you recognition at work, something that nobody has to know about, something that you just do to test your wings, to test the limits of your powers and capabilities for yourself. INTP, the advice I want to give you is, you are already talented. Yeah, I know INTPs can be a bit of uh, perfectionists. That means a lot of INTPs are focused on what they need to improve in themselves. They're always thinking about how they need to better themselves, become smarter, test themselves, improve themselves, fix themselves. INTPs, they're always thinking, okay, how can I get better at this? How can I improve at this? How can I do this smarter? But what you should know is, what you should remember is, you are already talented. You already have the skills you need. You already have the capabilities that you need in order to make it in the real world. You don't need to practice any longer. Instead, go out and see and test the limits of your powers and capabilities. Go out and actually test out what it is you can do. Test out what it is possible, what, is, um, what you can do with what you've already got. Yeah, I know, practice is fun. And uh, you should always devote time to learn new skills. You should always learn new things. You should always uh, keep your mind fresh and healthy. It's fun to keep on learning, to keep on growing, to keep on pushing yourself. And that's great. But make sure that that self-improvement comes from a position of love and self-respect. In a sense of wanting to test yourself. In a sense of knowing that I am a talented person. A person that is good at what I do. And that's why I want to challenge myself to become even better. Because Not because I'm, I think I'm bad at something, not because I think I suck at something, but because I enjoy learning new things. Focus on that positive reinforcement. You are learning because you want to become more talented and because you enjoy learning. You are not learning because you feel that you are bad at something. You're learning because you enjoy learning. That's the most important takeaway. My advice for ESFPs is simple. Make the boring things in life fun. Yeah, find ways to make anything you have to do in life more fun. Find ways to make cleaning, uh, chores, duties into something entertaining and fun for you. Find ways to bring out the light in a situation, to bring out the yokes, bring out the ease, to bring out the simplicity and things that you do, to make things entertaining, to make things uh, life more beautiful and more colorful. Because even though there are things that need to be done in life, things that are boring, things that are difficult, things that are complicated, that's not a reason why these things cannot be fun or cannot be interesting or cannot be made fun if you just know how to t playfully tease, playfully yoke, playfully uh, see the humor in any situation. My advice for ISTPs is break things and then fix them again. Yeah, as an ISTP, if you ever feel bored, my key advice for you is break things. Yeah, why not? Pick them apart. Break them apart, you know, and see how they work and then fix them again. There are things in life that uh, are constantly evolving, things that can go stale, things that can go boring, things that can become predictable. But if things ever become too predictable, if you ever become too comfortable, if uh, things ever uh, find themselves into being too simple why not just break them and see what happens and see what you can learn from the situation sometimes you have to make mistakes intentionally in order to learn how to fix them and i think that's something very fun for an istp and a way for an istp to grow my advice for isfjs is create a secret identity i know you have a role you have a duty to other people you have people things that people need from you you know you often feel like you have to play a certain role for others you have to be a certain person for others but 
Why not create a secret identity, a secret personality, a secret self? Something that you can be just for yourself, you know. Uh, find a small hobby, you know. I don't know, go to a gun range and learn to shoot guns just for fun, you know. And don't tell anybody about it, you know. Or uh, if you want to, just uh, have something, a day where you just take time off for yourself, you know. Just go into nature, go hiking, you know. And don't tell anybody about it. Have things that you do, have a secret identity that people don't, where you can do things that people don't expect from you or people would not think about you just for fun, just in the sense to have and have something that you own and something that is f fully yours that nobody um, can ever use or take from you. Just something that is fully yours. Make sure that you can find ways to own your own identity and your own self-expression because you deserve to be your own person and to exist for your sake doing things that you love. My advice for INFPs is really simple and I've said it in multiple videos and that is really you are needed. You are loved and you are needed in this world. The world needs INFPs. That means honestly to some extent you have a duty. <laughs> yeah you have a duty to uh, go out and to be the best version of yourself possible because you can set an example for other people to follow. You can show character and integrity and by speaking out and by being yourself and by expressing yourself you can help other people be themselves and follow their own example and to develop their own integrity. So yeah, uh, never underestimate how important INFPs are and how inspiring INFPs are if they are able to be themselves and to trust in themselves fully. ENFJs. There is a religious quote that exists in multiple religions, in Islam, in Christianity, in Buddhism, in multiple forms. It's been said so many times in so many different ways. Treat other people the way you want to be treated or don't treat other people in a way that you would not want to be treated yourself. I'm going to reframe this one for you though, ENFJ. ENFJ, my advice to you is don't let anybody treat you in a way that you would never treat another person. And okay, aside from the double negatives here, what I want to tell you is you deserve to be treated in a certain way. You deserve to be appreciated. You deserve to be speak, spoken to in a certain way. You deserve to be cared for in a way that you want to be cared for. So. Tell other people how to care for you. Tell other people how to talk to you. Tell other people off if they're not talking to you in a way that you want to be spoken to. That means learn to think about, okay, I would never treat another person like this. I would never say this to another person. So why am I letting them say it to me? Why am I letting other people treat me that way? Now, as an ENFJ, you deserve to be treated the way you treat other people because you treat other people wonderfully you're a good person and other people should also uh, give you that same goodness here's my advice to ESTPs ESTP make everything a little bit more challenging than what it already is find ways to challenge yourself by constantly thinking of ways to make it a bit more challenging a bit more difficult than what it was before uh, yeah, challenges are fun. Competition is fun. If you can find ways to always top what you did before, to always improve on yourself, to always better yourself, well, that's the thing ESTPs are best at. ESTPs are masters of self-improvement and of working on themselves and of challenging themselves and of bettering themselves. I see nobody that uh, works as hard on your self-improvement as an ESTP, and that's why I want to say... Um, for an ESTP, self-improvement is fun. Challenges are fun. And so give yourself challenges. Give yourself uh, the push to the next level and allow yourself uh, fun ways to push yourself and to test your limits of your capabilities. ISTJ, my advice for you is create a sphere of control. Find things a place or a workplace or a certain area where you have 100% control. Somewhere where you make the rules, somewhere where you set the standards, somewhere where you have 100% control and 100% influence. 
allow yourself this place, this uh, workplace or this uh, uh, situation where you can be 100% in charge because if you have this place, if you have this place where you have 100% control, then the chaos that exists in the world, the chaos, the things that are happening that are beyond your control are more easy to handle because you know that, yeah, I don't have control over everything, but I do have control over this. And if things ever get stressful, I can always go back to that. When I need time to myself, when things get overwhelming, when things get too uh, chaotic, I can always go down to my basement and work on the things that I have 100% control over. Or I can find a place where I can be myself or where I can relax and where I can feel like there is uh, something that I have control over, something that I am in charge of. What is my advice for ENTPs? My advice for you as an ENTP, full of questions, always challenging everything, always looking at things from the other picture, is this. Never leave a question unanswered. Never leave a question unanswered. Yeah. Whenever there is a question, whenever there is a doubt, make an answer. Challenge yourself to think of an answer. It doesn't have to be the right answer, but it can be any kind of answer. It can be silly or humorous or funny. It can be logical or smart or clever. It can be witty. It can be a simple. It can be just a makeshift answer. But always answer every question you come up with. That means if other people can't think of an answer, you can. That means push yourself to go, okay, but if I would answer this, what would I say? Be the devil, devil's advocate, be the angel's advocate that goes, huh, but what would I say if I had this question? Or what would I answer if I was the other person? Or what would I say if I was that dealing with this dilemma or this uh, issue? Yeah, make answers and make makeshift answers, you know, answers that you can change over time. But never leave a question unanswered. My advice for ISFPs is simple. As an ISFP, use daily affirmations to your advantage. Find simple truths, simple uh, encouraging statements, poetic quotes, things that make you feel that you can start every day with a positive attitude, you know, find positive affirmations, things that will help you become better, things that will heal you, things that will make you feel better. Uh, so whenever things get difficult, whenever things get tough, whenever you are struggling, you can always turn to these quotes, have a meaningful quotes book, have a uh, something or a journal where you have images of uh, things that make you feel better. Whenever you look at these things, you feel better. ISFP, use positive affirmations to your advantage. ESTJ, my advice for you is find your true passion. I know, you're a person that can achieve almost anything. You have incredible potential. You are incredibly talented and strong and skilled. And ta uh, Honestly, those talents are amazing. You can use them in any direction in society to make it anywhere you want. So, so, use those talents in the service of your own passion or your own purpose. Find your own purpose. Because if you can be good at something that you love and something you love for yourself and something you care about, something that you feel inside is meaningful, it's gonna feel less empty. Because sometimes just being talented in a societal sense, just working hard for the system or for money or for uh, making it in your industry, for other people, it's gonna feel empty. Sometimes it's gonna feel unrewarding. Sometimes it's gonna feel like you're putting in so much effort for no reason. So if you ever feel like you're putting in effort for no reason, if you ever feel like you never get back the effort, the energy that you put into your work or what it is you care about, well, go inside and find something that you care about, something that you value for yourself, something that you would appreciate yourself for doing, something that you would find to be meaningful for yourself. An INFJ, INFJ. My advice for you is simple. Find your real self. Find out who you are, because if you can know who you are, if you can find it out as early as possible, you're gonna feel more clear, more certain, more secure in everything you do in life. No matter how overwhelming life gets or how challenging the struggles that you are gonna be faced with, if you know yourself, if you know who you are, if you have a 
come into contact with your own inner moral compass, if you know your inner worldview, if you have a solid ideology, a solid vision for yourself and for where you want to go, well, it's going to be easier. And this is my second piece of advice for you, INFJ. Create a vision that builds on who you are and what your mission is and what you care about most. A mission that validates your own sense of self. So if your sense of vision, if your ideas are at odds with who you are, if you feel like you have to become somebody else to make it in your vision or in your ideas or in your dreams, let go of that vision. Yeah, let go of visions, let go of a mission that isn't yours. If a vision isn't yours, if a cause isn't yours, if it isn't a vision that allows you to be yourself, it's not your vision, it's somebody else's. So, find a vision that builds on and allows you to be yourself and know who you are. Yeah, that's the most important advice. Just know who you are. It's going to make everything easier. Now, if this advice helped you, and if you want more unwarranted advice in the next video, click the subscribe button and check out my other recommended videos.